we now me shun and embarrassed Olori Ronke out of her house in Akure. As they said, uh, Ronke visited with Naomi early in the morning. They say very early in the morning. She was the first person to start knocking on the gate, you know. But thank God for prophecy and the revelation. Anyways, guys, welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time. And the time you are seeing this video, we are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Fife. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe, okay? Turn on the notification bell. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, okay? They said uh, early that day, bef uh, before that day, in the, at night, they said Kwenomi had a dream, you know, and that dream wasn't a good one. In her dreams, she saw a woman uh, fighting her from the palace of Ilefe Kingdom, as in the woman wanted to attack her with uh, some jars and all of that. And when she woke up, it was a dream, you know, she had to pray and uh, get ready. And they said that early morning, the first person to knock on her gate happens to be Ronke. And she knows that Ronke is up to something. As a matter of fact, they said Ronke came to her to come and beg her to pray for her that she marched on charms inside the palace. And since then, that, that thing has been hurting her and all of that that she needed her prayers. That is what they say Ronke wanted to come and tell her. But they say she did not give Ronke that chance. And recall that... Uh, uh, Reverend Esther Ajayi, I don't know if you have watched that video. They said Reverend Esther Ajayi reached out to Queen Naomi and told her that, look, oh, you see this month, this few months that is given to these women to pack out of the palace, they are going to use it to prepare themselves spiritual, spiritually for this fight because it's not going to be an easy one. So this period, you need to be very prayerful and very careful. That on no account should you receive any of these honorees in your house. On no account. That what's come to us, let's say that the king insisted that uh, you must see them or speak to them. That you should take them to your church. Because inside that church, whatever they have come with will be neutralized. Because they are preparing back to back, as in back to back. This time around, they want to manipulate you in such a way that you would want to forget everything that has to do with the king. As a matter of fact, that palace and the, the king and everything that concerns your good Jose family will be rotating you. You know, that is the extent that they want to go. Because this woman is trying to tell us that when Quinomi left that palace, you know, she didn't do it on her own. That she did not use normal eyes to come up for that palace. That they manipulated her uh, into going out of that palace. And this time around, that is the kind of thing they are also planning. But this time, it is going to be more dangerous than it was before. So that is why they said, uh, Reverend Esther J have told Queen Naomi that you need to put on your armor of prayer. That you need to be very, very extremely prayerful. As a matter of fact, they said, she gave them, uh, some said it's three days fasting and prayer. That the king too will be involved. Some fam family members of the uh, Egunsi family should be involved. That the, the women are planning something that uh, will be so devastating if it eventually happens. That what these people are planning this time, hmm, that Konami uh, needs to know that there is a problem, you know, and she shouldn't relent. She shouldn't go and relax and thinking that everything is okay. That at this point, that nothing is okay. So right now, when they say uh, when Naomi saw also had the dream where a woman was attacking her from the palace, you know, when she woke up, she was so angry. As a matter of fact, they said she was so furious, and only for her to see Ronke again, being the first person to start knocking on the gate, they said she was standing inside in her house, and uh, she as she the what she told Ronke, Ronke wasn't expecting it that the. Uh, Whatever that she have come to that house with, she should take it back because she's going to, uh, it is going to consume her. That whatever it is, that how many times will she want her not to come to her house again? That this is getting out of hand. But she wants to tell her that, you see that jazz that she have come with, it is going to consume her. That it will never get to her, uh, Quenomi or any member of Quenomi's house. They said that, that one, the way she, she fired it back, and it is good like that too. So that whatever that she have come to do, will go back to the sender. 
the self economic did not give her breathing space. She did not even allow her to say the reason why she wanted to come to the palace and all of that. That she just blasted and embarrassed her and gave her serious warning, serious warning, never to come to that palace, never to come to her Akure house again or anywhere close to her and Prince Tadenikawa. They said when uh, Ronke saw that uh, this is a no-go area oh, because they didn't even allow her to enter the gate. She was standing outside the gate while Kwenomi was blasting and embarrassing her. And that is what she deserved. Because I don't know why uh, 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 old cargoes like them wouldn't go and dress. They want Kwenomi out of Oni's life. They want her out of the palace. Okay, now I want to ask her a question. Kwenomi is not in that palace. Are they enjoying anything from that palace? No! So even if Kwenomi is there or not, uh, they are never going to enjoy that marriage because it wasn't theirs. The marriage does not belong to them. It belongs to Queen Naomi. And if they think that they, they can snatch it away from her and enjoy it, they are wasting their time. You see this bitterness that they are seeing in this marriage, it is going to continue like that as long as they are uh, uh, with the king, unless they decide to leave. If not, there will be no peace for the wicked because these people, uh, these people, they, they, they are going extra mile. The, this uh, this reverend Esther Jai, from what we are hearing allegedly, said that the level that they are operating this time, they they will do even the things that they don't know how to do. That even they will go and do uh, a lot of things that they don't even uh, know or as in, that is just to tell you that they would go extra mile to see that they achieve their aim this time. But it will be of uh, how will I put it? It will not happen. Let me just put it that way. With whatever they plan against Queen Naomi and Prince Tadenika and the new affair, it will go back to them. It is going back to them. It will never manifest in Queen Naomi's life. So they said Queen Naomi gave it to Ronke the way she never expected. And shamelessly, she left that place and they returned back to the palace. <laughs> hey! And I said, now, nah, wow, these people, they don't want to respect themselves. And this time around, is not the time that when Naomi will be quiet, telling them, please stop visiting me, stop coming to me. They said she gave it to her. Woto, 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 woto. As in, hey, I said, uh, this is, you see, the best thing for Naomi to do is go and get a dog. Police dog, oh, mm. if any of them try to come, let them release police dog for <laughs> to her so that the police dog will do the job at once. And if we never start doing that one, you find out that these people, they will stop coming. They will stop coming though. So whatever they are doing and sending, it will be returning back to them. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget that they are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Please give this video a thumbs up. My God will bless you. Bye for now. Love you guys.